So we're gonna go ahead and get started actually making some materials and we're gonna go ahead and open our friend, the material editor. So let's go ahead and open that guy up. And the very first thing that we need to talk about is we briefly looked at some of the interface earlier, but let's go ahead and spend a little bit more time looking at it. Now, the very first thing that we're gonna see here is the material properties. And right now there's no layers, there's nothing in this material. It's completely blank and therefore it it has no properties. There's nothing to worry about for the material properties because there's nothing here. So in order to create our first material, we need to actually do something. And the way that we do that is we're going to go ahead and context click here on this empty space and we're going to say add layer. And what that'll do is it'll create our first layer. Now, if that doesn't work for you, I'm just going to go ahead and hit, del hit delete and delete that layer so that we, there we go. Let's try that again. I have to select it first. We can also go File, New MXM, and that will create a new Maxwell material with a layer. And now you're going to see that some of these options that weren't previously available to us are now available to us under the Material Properties item on this list here. You can see that these are basically folders that fold up within one another, and so we can expand and collapse these folders within the material interface. But as far as our little hierarchy goes, the most important thing here is this BSDF. And the most important thing about this BSDF is this very first little icon here, which represents the color for reflectance zero. Now, the very most important thing to understand about the Maxwell materials is that while they are physically based, the designers of Maxwell Render did not limit the software to only create materials that already exist. There are many physically correct materials possible that right now have no real world analog. And this is probably the single most confusing thing about working with the material system at first. The basic way around this is to understand that there are realistic ranges for all the values that will have real world analogs. But when you step outside of those realistic ranges, you're stepping into the world of the physically possible but not necessarily realistic materials. That said, everything in Maxwell materials is based on geometric objects interacting with a visible light spectrum. So color is not just color, but rather portions of the light spectrum that are either absorbed or reflected by the object. And the color of the object is primarily determined by setting this reflectance zero color. And the reflectance zero color is color and intensity of the light that the object reflects directly facing our viewpoint, which is always considered to be zero degrees by Maxwell. The way that we control the reflectance zero setting is by clicking on this color chip to open the color picker. And so let's go ahead and do that now. And now you'll see that we have a color picker. Now I've already done some work with this color picker and I have some colors set up over here in these chip swatches. You may or may not have different colors going on these swatches, but these are very easy to change out and it really doesn't matter much. But the thing that does matter here is that we have RGB, red, green, blue, color space. We have hue saturation value, HSV, and we have XYZ. Now my preference is to work with HSV because it makes the most sense to me. And in all honesty, it's exactly the way that this little setup here, we have our hue going in a ring, and then we have this triangle that goes our value range from dark to light, and then our saturation range from desaturated to saturated. So this corner represents the most saturated, this corner represents the darkest, and this corner represents the lightest. And then we have the ability to move freely within that triangle. Well, as we move, you can see that the sliders are moving right along with us. The important thing to know about the reflectance zero color is that we do not want to go above. 225. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. 225 basically represents white or the lightest values. Now we can also go to saturation 225 and you'll see what that looks like. And then we can do any hue. So you can see here that we have quite a lot of saturated bright color that we can choose from. But generally speaking, these two first settings here, we don't want to go past 225. The hue setting and the value setting, leave those at 225. If you go past that point, you're stepping outside of that realistic range that I was just talking about. 
And you're likely to end up with extra noise in your renders. Your renders are going to take longer to clear up and they won't look as good because they're going to have kind of a strange look to them. So just bear that in mind when it comes to reflect and zero color. We want to keep within this realistic range of between 0 to 225 for both saturation and value. And anything less than that is also fine. So, you know, we could do something like that and we don't have to worry about that at all. And you notice here that whenever I make a change here, it automatically updates here. But what I can also do is if I like the color that I've got, I can simply drag it over here and I can keep it as a swatch in this little chip. And we can quickly and easily move things in and out between these chips. So let's say I wanted to choose one of these yellows. Well, now you notice the yellow updates over here. So that's the color picker in a nutshell. We'll be using that extensively as we're working. But we've actually just created our very first material. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and hit render. Now it's going to render with our default preview, so you'll see that. But that is our very first material. By simply choosing a reflectant zero color, we have actually created a perfectly diffuse plastic that we can use in any render, anytime. And that is our first material.